welcome to my first video on the Gather Handmade channel. Um, I am coming at you today in my realist self. Um, I just visited the Bozeman Hot Springs where I work for my part-time job, um, but I was there swimming tonight and so I'm a little bit of a mess, um, but I figured I want everyone to take me as I am, right? So here I am, just coming from swimming, and um, I am taking this evening to start my little vlog channel. I live in beautiful Bozeman, Montana, United, United States. Um, on my full-time job, I work for a local nonprofit called Greater Impact. Um, it's an amazing or organization that I can't believe I get to be a part of. I do fundraising and marketing for them. Um, and then for my, like I told you a minute ago, for my part-time job, I'm working the front desk at a little local hot spring, um, but I am ending that job in June. And so I want to use my extra time to continue to develop my sewing skills and I wanna share it with you. Um, as I was looking for more content to help me to learn to sew more and help me learn how to develop a handmade business more. And I wasn't finding, there's content out there, but I wasn't finding exactly what I was looking for. Well, I was like, maybe I can start something that'll help someone in the future. So anyways, this is my first um, video and I'm gonna tell you a little bit about what I am making tonight. So I am finishing up some scrunchies that I am making. Um, this is part of a project that I'm doing called the Remnant Project for my handmade shop. Um, I am picking up remnants from shops that are um, local, whether it's um, Hobby Lobby or Joann's, that's really what we have here in Bozeman. And then I'm also doing some online remnant shopping. So there's this amazing organization called Fab Scrap. You may have heard of it. Um, Fab Scrap collects um, remnants from local um, uh, designers local to New York City and they gather them all um, and they save them from the landfill whether that means turning them into like plush for pillows whether that means just selling them to people like me um, they save them from the landfill so it's a super awesome organization that I love to support and anyways, I got this beautiful snakeskin velvet fabric from them. I had never worked with velvet before, and so when I got it, I was so stumped. But then I um, just all of a sudden started seeing scrunchies out of it. So I, I made scrunchies out of it. Um, and I'm excited to see what I could do with velvet in the future, but for now, um, I'm really excited that this came together. So I'm gonna have about 15 of these on my website. Um, super pretty. So tonight what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be putting the elastic through these, scrunching them up, and then hand sewing them together. So that's those. Um, I'm also gonna be making this cute little zipper pouch. Um, it ended up being, I'm just making these from scratch. Like I, I'm not really using a pattern or anything. I'm just cutting them to the size that I want them to be. And um, this ended up being kind of the size for like a really good size makeup bag. So um, I'm, I am gonna have two of these. One is already done and on my website, but I'm gonna finish the second one. Um, and it will have a little lining on the inside. So it'll be a lined makeup bag. Okay, so the last thing I'm working on is for me. It's not for my website, um, it's just for me. And what it is, is the March top from Helen's Closet, um, Helen's Closet Patterns that is. Um, I am currently working on this. Um, it has this little slit in the, in the bust, which is really cute. Um, and it's gonna have like puffy sleeves cinched or like gathered at the wrist. <laughs> I don't have all the terms down yet. So it's gonna gather at the wrist um, and then it's going to um, have a little ruffle at the bottom, which is so cute. And so I'm just really excited for this top. I got this fabric as it was a bed sheet from, um, that looked brand new from Goodwill. So I'm gonna show it to you up close. I thought it was like so cute. They look like little painted dots. So that's gonna be my first apparel piece, or wait, no, my second apparel piece. 
The first one I made was the Luna tank from Helen's Closet Patterns. So this is my second one, but it's one that I'm going to wear a lot more often than the Luna tank. Here in Montana, we get pretty cold weather, so this will be kind of a year-round top I get to wear. Um, yeah, I'm really excited to show you that when it's finished. I'm not going to be able to finish this tonight, but I am going to work on it. So anyways, thank you so much for following along, and I can't wait to show you a little bit um, about what I'm going to do next. So let's get to work on these projects. Well, I promised too much and I wasn't able to get to my um, March top of the Helen's Closet patterns that I'm making tonight, but I was able to finish five beautiful snakeskin velvet scrunchies. They are so adorable. Um, and people were really excited about them when I showed the fabric, so I'm hoping they'll sell really fast. Um, and then I also finished the zipper pouch. So. Um, tonight was a win and thank you so much for sharing it with me again.